Hello everybody and welcome back to another Dragon Ball Super video. So in this video I want to talk about uh, reasons why I don't think the strongest warriors in every universe compete in the tournament. Like it's a weird topic but like it's just obvious right? Like they say the tournament of power is supposed to be the 10 strongest, like 10 strongest warriors in every universe and you can easily easily say that wasn't the case just by looking at universe 7 like let me just show you guys universe 7 quick where's universe 7 universe 7 look at him look at him who could you replace from this team who it's easy Tien and Curlin. You could kick them off. Who could you add? Boo. You could add Boo. He's strong. He was asleep though, unfortunately. Like, literally look at the arc after the turn of power. There was Moro. There was 7-3. There was... Who else were there? There are other people in Moro's group. They're all stronger than uh, Tien or Krillin. Heck, even 18 get kicked off of this freaking group and Piccolo as well because uh, 730 is stronger than Piccolo. Like, they could all get kicked off of this group. Like, like it's just easy to tell, like, not the strongest people in every... I'm just going to explain, like, why I think it's, like, just the case. Like, like, I think the Tournament of Power was, like, a bad idea for Super, like, that early because it's, so, like, you just introduce multiple universes, right? You literally just... In, they literally just introduce multiple universes. That that opens up, like, endless possibilities, like, for Super. The first thing they do is decide to just throw the quote-unquote strongest fighters in all the universe in a single tournament. Like, you take away a lot of possibilities doing that. Good thing they weren't all actually the strongest in the universe like you can say that like a few a few of them were the strongest in the universes but like not all of them heck not all of them you can tell like look at the current arc spoilers if you're not like up to the current manga like look at the current arc i'm not even gonna count uh whatever his name is granola because he just he literally just wished for his power but what was the guy's name gas i'm guessing gas like it gas is being hyped up as like a strong character like a strong character like if he's being hyped up as a strong character you can come to the conclusion conclusion that he's at least like as strong as super saiyan blue or e even stronger you can come you can come to that conclusion like he thinks he, he's strong enough to take on frieza golden frieza by the way he thinks he's strong enough to take on frieza he, he thinks, like, they don't even need Cronola. Like, if he thinks he's strong enough to take on Frieza, he has to be at least, like, stronger than Super Saiyan Blue or as strong, all right? Like, you can replace somebody, like, you can re you can just toss Krillin off the team at that point. Boo, Boo could, like, other than the four main fighters in this universe, Boo could replace all of these guys. Boo could, like, well, Android 7, you can't play, you can't replace Android 17. <laughs> So I'm just going to say other than the five strongest fighters. like So that would be Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, Frieza, and 17. Like, yeah, you have, you, have to, you have to keep them, right? You have to keep those guys. But, like, Boo wasn't the strongest in the universe. He couldn't compete because he was asleep. Moro, they didn't know about Moro. Well, I'm guessing Jocko knew about Moro. Jocko knew about Moro, but he, like, you know, didn't want Moro to compete. Like, Moro was basically, like, a villain. Like, so is Frieza, but, like, I'm pretty sure Moro would compete if, like, he found out, like, he was going to get destroyed if he didn't. Like, like, he should, at least he should be able to be smart enough to understand hierarchy. Like, the god hierarchy. Like, he fought, like, one of the Kais. Like, 7-3, I don't know if, like, uh, uh, I can't remember. Uh, I don't know. 7-3, probably. I don't know if he'd be an idiot. Or, like, he'd cooperate. He's like he's like an android or whatever. 
But <clears throat> yeah, just looking at Universe Seven, like not the strongest competed. Some of the strongest, like Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, clearly. Like they're some of the strongest. Like if I had to pick like the strongest team, I had to key like I said, the five. Goku, Vegeta, uh Gohan, Frieza, Android seventeen. And with the knowledge I have right now, like I'd put gas on the team. I can't count Granola because he literally just wished to be the strongest. He just wished that, like, like not too long ago. I can't count him. But Gas, like he, he's probably already had his power since he actually trained for it. And like, uh, Granola wishing for it. Moro, Moro wasn't at his strongest. Like, like he wasn't like at his strongest. Cause he had the wish to be uh to be youthful again, but even an unyouthful unyouthful Moro would probably be better off than Krillin or Tien. I I like Tien too. Like he got treated wrong, sadly. Like like even an unyouthful Moro could be like a part of the tournament power. Like he could li like still absorb energy. I'm pretty sure. Like, imagine he's just sucking up Jiren's power, like, the entire tournament. Like, all the power that was being released, and he just gets stronger. Uh, so, so there was, uh, I'm, I'm gonna count this. Goku, Cheetah, Gohan, Android 17, Frieza, Moro, Gas. 7-3 would also be a part of the team. He's super strong. He'll literally touch the back of, like, anybody's neck and just get their power. Like, that'd be OP doing the turn of power. Boo, like, you know, wake up Boo somehow. He couldn't compete, but, like, just wake him up. He'd be strongest in the universe. That's nine. Uh, Mirius wasn't an angel at the time. I mean, Mirius was an angel at the time. <clears throat> he also wasn't in universe seven. Who else? Who could else? And Brawly. Yep, Brawly. There we go, Brawly. They didn't know about Brawly at the time, but, like, just wish with the Dragon Balls. Who are the 10 strongest, like, in the universe? That 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 would literally be the team right there. That that would literally be the team. Strongest mortals. Like, all the people I mentioned. So, let's go on... The other universe. Uh, let me take like a really good example. This universe right here. This universe. They're horrible. They're they're just they're like. They're just wiped out. That guy right there. This guy right here. He actually like. This guy. I'm pretty sure he fought Gohan. He actually had like a good story. He was actually dec decently strong. He has some good tricks of his sleeves. This guy. I remember him doing something like he was a flyer. He did like some cool whirlwind attack. Uh, I think this guy fought Topo, and I think I forgot who this samurai. Well, he was like a I forgot what they call him, sumo wrestler guy. I remember him fighting somebody. I remember the butterfly girl doing some freaking attack thingy. I don't remember everybody, anybody else. But yeah, let's take this universe for example. I have screenshots, so. This universe right here. Gawasu was the one who wanted to pick the fighters for the universe. But like. As you can see he says. What should I focus on. To select warriors from tournament of power. He didn't want to like. Select like another Zamasu. Like. I don't know why he was that worried about it. Like at that point. Like who cares. Like your universe is like about to get destroyed. As far as you know. Like pick whoever. But instead, his uh, God of Destruction chose. He chose these guys. Rumshi, Rumshi, that's the, the elephant god. He didn't, like, he chose them all based on their muscles. I'm pretty sure there's stronger people. And Gowasu's universe, I think his universe is universe 10. 
I'm not I'm not good with the universes. Like which universe is which? Because you know I'm pretty sure there's stronger people than than these guys in the universe. But this guy picked them. Because he he's he's like just worried about their muscles. And not all of them are even like muscly. Only like three or four of them were muscly. Maybe five. But yeah. He just picked based on the muscle. Gowasu, I feel like if Gowasu got the chance to pick, he would have probably picked smarter and stronger people as well. He would have picked smarter and stronger people as well. I'm pretty sure. Like, he probably, like, the elephant god guy, he probably just rushed picking them. Like, he probably didn't, like, just think it out. Like, he's literally a god of destruction. He should have, like, tested out their strength or something. Like, if you're not strong enough, go. Not even. That's one example. Like, a universe that probably didn't pick the strongest fighters. because That was because, due to the god's stupidity. The god of destruction's stupidity. Let's see. Where's Catella's universe? Oh, that's the one I'm missing, isn't it? Oh, no, no. This right here is Catella's universe. Right here. This guy right here, he was actually pretty strong, but he just got... He just got, uh... Taken out. Uh, by, uh... Whatever his name is. Roshi. Because he was gonna... He was, like... He's the type of person that gets stronger. Like, there's a, there's a few people in the tournament of power like that that just get stronger. It's like... Bergamo gets stronger. But... During the tournament of power, it didn't happen for some reason. They just wanted... Uh, Bergamo's universe out. They just wanted that universe the first to go. Because it's the reason. Or well, because they won the rest of the tournament. Uh, so... This is Catella's universe, I'm pretty sure. Cutella? He, I'm pretty sure he could have picked strong. He picked, like, this guy, like, was decently strong. She was fighting Kaba. She was able to beat up Kaba in his Super Saiyan 1 form. She got beat by him in Super Saiyan 2. Uh, I don't really remember any of these other. These, I'm pretty sure she's the one who fought uh, Roshi, I think. If I'm remembering correctly. I remember him. He is, like, doing some, uh. Key blast like out of his hands. This little guy at the end. This animal guy. I think he got knocked out by Krillin. But yeah. Kutella. He was mostly trying to play. For the uh, the trick game. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. See we only see eight of his fighters. Yeah there's ten fighters. We only see eight of his fighters. Here's more. Like, he was mostly going for the trick game. To where, like... He was trying to be sneaky about it. Like, use fighters, like, that they couldn't see. Like, there was the invisible person. And there's this little tiny guy right here that's, like, super... Like, too small to see. There's them. Like, so he could have... Like, he clearly could have picked stronger fighters from his universe. Like, other than these guys. He could have picked stronger people. So that's another like example of like, okay, this universe has more strong fighters, as well. Uh, I don't know about this one yet. Let's talk about. Let's talk about Jin's universe. As you can see, all the Jin's fighters consist of the Pride Troopers, like. We didn't get to see much of the Pride Troopers, honestly. A lot of them got, like, knocked out. I was hoping to see more from this guy right here, the little cyborg guy. Like, he looked like he was going to be, like, a, like important. He looked like he was going to be, like, important. But he just got, like, knocked out, like, without doing much, which is sad. I want to see more of them. Like, they're, I want to see more of them. Because, I don't know, they could have done more. Like, they could have ex expanded the freaking Tournament of Power. Like, it'd have been nice to, like, just build up every character in the universe. Like, like okay, anyway. Uh, you can see it consists of mostly Pride Troopers. I'm sure, like, I'm 100% sure that it's other people in Jiren's universe, Universe 11, that are strong.
but they probably didn't recruit them probably because like some of them were like evil some of them were evil like it's the pride troopers i don't think jaren or topo would like allow an evil person on their team like look at universe 7 universe 7 has frieza right frieza's evil let's say there was somebody strong like frieza in their universe in uh universe 11 like even if it meant like the universe getting wiped out, I'm Topo. Topo's like anti evil. He wouldn't want that guy on his team. He wouldn't want him on his team. He couldn't trust him. Probably wouldn't trust him or anything. He wouldn't want that guy on his team. So I'm pretty sure like there's some strong enemies. Like or just imagine Moro, like a Moro type person, like an evil person, just basically an evil person, an evil strong person in the universe. Like. There's probably people that, that like they lock evil, like super really strong people that it had to take. Like Jaren had to, like Jaren had to be the one to defeat them. Like Tobo couldn't beat him, Dispo couldn't beat him. It had to be Jaren that defeated him. Like they locked them away or killed them or whatever. Like locked them away. Like like that could have been like recruited and been like a big asset to the team, but they just didn't want to because they're evil. Like this is an anti-evil team. Like they didn't. They're not going to recruit somebody evil. So I'm pretty sure this universe also has something to offer. Like, they had more, like, strong fighters they could have had. But they just, like, kept it between the pride troopers. Because they're, like, they can trust each other and all of that. Uh, Robots. I don't know much about their universe. Uh... I heard that they were like doing upgrades. They're doing upgrades before they turn into power. Uh, I'm guessing like for their universe, like uh, I'm just gonna throw it out that like maybe they could have done better upgrades. Like maybe they just didn't have enough time to do better upgrades for some of their fighters. So so they could have been stronger as well. Ani Raza, oh my, I love Ani Raza. Sucks what happened to him in the manga. He just gets one shot at by Kefla. I hated that. Like, he was one of, like, the strong people from, like, just, like, one of the other universes. Like, that's what they should have done. They should have gave, like, every universe as at least one super, super, super strong hitter. Like, Ani Raza was, like, super, super, he was up there in power. He was up there. Like, he literally was fighting the entire universe 17. He's fighting the entire universe 17. Like, they should have had, like, one of those in every tournament. I mean, every uh universe. Like, it make, it's a whole entire universe. It's an entire universe. It only makes sense. If there was a super strong fighter in every universe. Like, some people, like, have the mindset of, oh, uh, there should be nobody in the other universes that are, like, as strong as Goku and Vegeta. But no, that, like, how? It's an entire universe. Like, just think about how big a universe is. Think about how, like, each, each planet, like, each planet, each planet has, like, billions of people. And there's probably, like, billions of planets in each universe. Except for Universe 7, for some reason. Universe 7 was said to, like, have only, like, 30, I, I don't know. Some small number of planets. Like, 30 or something. Maybe less, even. Which is ridiculous. In a universe. But, yeah, like, every universe should have had, like, that top, like, at le at the very least. I think that every universe should have ha had, like, three, like, heavy hitters. But, like, at the very least, they should have had one. Like, some someone like Aniraza in the anime. In the manga, oh, my God. What they do it to him? The manga was, I hated the manga so, so much. But, yeah, like, uh... I just have this. I might make this a thumbnail. I, I, Topo in the suit. Like. I, I have to clap for him. That's my. Topo's my boy. Topo's my boy. I love Topo. Oh my god. Anyway. uh, Like. I'm pretty sure in some universes. Like. They probably have like. Strong. Like very strong bad guys. That are locked away. Like Moro, like how Moro was locked away in the uh, the Galactic Patrol. 
pretty sure universe 11 probably has some enemies like that other universes probably have enemies like that uh yeah like uh universe 2 they picked i'm guessing they picked based on love i don't know i don't know how how the goddess picked their fighters i, I don't know only three of them are car, uh, kamikaze fireballs i think that's what they're called only three of them the rest different tuffle these people right here this guy right here this blueberry guy up here he looks he looked cool he looked like like that guy from gt i forgot his name rodo i don't know he looks cool instant transmission guy like they could have did better like 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 he was only using the instant transmission like he could have done you know like how like we just randomly find out like after the turn into power that uh oh yeah uh the tuffles not the tuffles but the sumerians i don't i forgot the names the sumerians he's a tuffle right here this guy the end the green guy i think he's a tuffle i don't know something like that but yeah the yard rat yeah, oh, that's what it is. The yard rat. That's some. What am I talking about? Sumerians. What? What is a Sumerian? Anyway, the yard rats. Uh, they have spirit control. They have other abilities. Like, they can split fusions in half. They can teleport. They can do all this other stuff. And this guy was only using the instant transmission and turning the power. Like, I don't know. The story is like the story kind of did them wrong story did him wrong like they could have set they could have set that up even further like like imagine like he was doing like all this crazy yard rat stuff and then vegeta was just spectating and that's the reason vegeta decided to go with the planet yard rat to continue like to do like continue what goku didn't finish because he saw that this guy was doing some cool stuff and vegeta like wanted to learn that like that would have been a better reason for vegeta to go to like Planet Yardrat during the uh, Moro arc because he saw like if he just has a, a flashback of this guy and turning into power, seeing this guy doing something, he's like, "Oh yeah, we have Yardrats in our universe. Let's do that. Let's go do that." Uh, what else? This universe. Uh, universe. I think Champa did a decent job, but. Uh, he did a decent job, but he also didn't, like, Botama and Mageta, like, they're always a good choice, like, they're, like, hard to take out, like, they're strong, like, they're strong, and they're basically, like, invulnerable to most attacks, like, you have to be tricky to get them out, uh, he should have worked on, uh, Mageta's weakness more, uh, the Namekians do, they're, like, really good additions to the team, they just shouldn't have fought, they should have just stayed away. I don't know why they were fighting. They should have just let people get knocked out. They should have just stayed away from Piccolo and uh, Gohan. Stay away. Just sit back. Hit also shouldn't have fought. Should have just, just just chilled back. Uh, I don't know why Kaba... I mean, why... Uh, I think Kel and Khalifa were good additions, but I don't know why uh, Champa let Kaba pick. I don't know why Champa let Kaba pick. Like, he trusted the fate of... Well, I guess Kaba... Kaba cares about the universe. But, like, he probably could have just found, like, random stronger people. Like, other than two other Saiyans. Dr. Rota. Uh, I'm guessing Champa knows what Dr. Rota's abilities are. Like, sucks that it was a gag. But I'm guessing... I'm guessing Dr. Rota's abilities have to be, like, super good. He's probably not like strong, like physically strong, but he he probably has like some super good abilities, if I'm gonna guess correctly. If I'm if I'm, if I'm like that's my guess. He probably has some super strong abilities, but uh, we didn't get to see it. I I think Chopper did all right. I did all right. He did all right picking his people. Like if I were picking this universe, I'd definitely keep. Magetta and Botama on. Uh, 
I just have hit protect them all. Like I just tell them to just stay away. Like that's basically all they need to do. Just stay away. Like Khalifa K Kael just like went up to Goku and just started fighting him. Like stay away. Just just don't fight. Don't fight unless you're Universe Seven. That's about it. Just don't fight unless you're Universe Seven. That's how you live longer. That's how you survive longer. Like just let them knock each other out. Hit the strongest fighter. Good choice. Too bad he had to fight Jiren. Wouldn't have done that if I were hit. Wouldn't have done that. Well, he probably didn't know Jiren was stronger than time itself. So it's not his fault. Not his fault at all. Poor hit. Uh... The Namekians could have actually been stronger if they wanted to. But they actually decided to like spare the uh, the kids of their universes. The kids and the, uh, the elderly. Like if they just like fused their entire plan into themselves. They could have been way stronger. But it was smart. That I'm happy they didn't. Because like I don't know. Like did no other universe have access to like the hyperbolic time chamber or something? Pretty sure Mirrors has it. He's like one that's like three days. I don't know. I, I just think like. Like they could have trained more. You know. The only people in the universe we saw training. Was uh. In universe 6 was literally just. Kaba killing Khalifa. He wasn't really training. He was like teaching him to go Super Saiyan. That's about it. That's the type of training he did for them. But it's like. It's actually good training because like that's a big power up. 50 times multiplier, right? But Magetta, Botama, they are actually probably training too. Like that's probably their like how they came up with their uh, combo. Like just Botama just sitting on top of Magetta's head. That's probably how they came up with their combo. Uh, the way Botama got knocked out was kind of stupid. Like, Gohan was just punching him in the air until he, like, got lifted up. Like, he should have just... should have just did what Goku did. I guess they probably just didn't want him to, like, go out the ring the same way. I guess that's why. Like, just toss him out. Pick him up and toss him out. That was funny, though. Like, during the, uh, the exhibition match when Goku just tossed him out of the ring. <laughs> uh, Frost... Uh, Frost, like, got stronger as well. I know. There's probably more in Universe 6 that we've yet to see. There's clearly going to be more. There's clearly just going to be random, stronger people that plot demands because story has to advance. It's going to be random people that weren't in the Tournament Power Universe in Universe 6 whenever we go there. Uh, already talked about these guys. Yeah, like I said, he was just trying to go for the sneakier option. He probably wasn't going for, like, the strong, strong option. He was just going for the sneakier option. Strongest person in the universe was this guy. He got knocked out by Roshi. I actually think he's a cool character. He transforms into, like, this bird thing, which is awesome. I want to see more of him move we go to his universe. Pride Troopers, no evil allowed. These guys, I don't know much about their universe. Like, we didn't really see their god much. He speaks literally like a robot language. Probably more in their universe. Like, I don't know if their entire universe is made up of robot thingies. I don't know. Maybe there's some evil robot thingies locked up away. Maybe. I don't know. This guy isn't a robot. He's a scientist. Yeah, he's a scientist. Oh, remember the God of Destruction is actually like a little small little creature inside of a robot suit? He's a small creature inside of a robot suit. So he's not actually like a robot. Well, they're not even robots. They're like actual beings. Oh, this guy down here was actually super... He... I think that he... Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. How dare you? You know the little blue guy that like 
He's like a Majin Buu type body. He's down there on the right. The one that Jiren took out. I think that he was actually super strong, but Jiren took him out. Like I think that's something people ignore. Jiren took this guy out. Jiren. Jiren. Jiren took him out. He was about to like knock out uh what's his name? Dispo. He was about to knock out Dispo. I think he was just strong. Like he could have been like one of those people, like if he stayed in, he probably could have put up like a really good fight. He's like a Majin Buu type character, like without the mat. I don't know if he has like he can just change his body and all of that, probably like invulnerable to like a lot of attacks. He'll probably just like liquefy and just put his body back together. <clears throat> like he was probably like him and Ani. Oh my god, Ani Raza. Just love Ani Raza. Like did him so well. I feel like he's underrated. Like those those were like some of my best, like my favorite fights. It's like one of my favorite fights during the Tournament of Power. Like Universe Seven versus Ani Raza. We actually got to see teamwork from the entire universe. Well, almost the entire universe. Almost. Ruo, Shitian, Krillin. We're all gone. Anybody else? I think those were the only three that are gone. That part. Then I think 18 got knocked out during that fight. Yeah, 18 got knocked out during that fight, I think. And then he found the weakness. But yeah, this guy, I think he was probably like really strong too. But we didn't get to see much out of him because it, like, Jiren took him out. Like, we didn't get to see that much of hit. Because Jiren took hit out. It's like that, like back case. Like, hit could have obviously done a lot more in the tournament. But got taken out by the strongest fighter there. So yeah. It's for that universe. Bergamo. Let's talk about Bergamo. He was done wrong. Like him and his universe. Do I have his universe here? Uh, we didn't get to see much of any of these guys. I know this guy has ice powers. So he had the big blue guy. Don't remember the cat girl. Don't remember that guy. Don't remember any of these things. I just remember these four right here. That's all I remember. Like they didn't they didn't really get to use any of their like their stuff. Like Bagamo, he's literally supposed to get stronger the more you hit him. He didn't use that at all. Like during this fight, see right here, Goku literally says he never really got to uh, see Bagamo's real strength. Still didn't get to see Bergamo's real strength in the turn and power because they just, like, Toriyama just wanted him out. Or was it, well, Tor Toriyama and Toro Taro? They just wanted them out. Like, they could have, uh, I wish they just expanded on a lot more. Bergamo and them could have, like, did more. Like, they didn't have to punish the whole universe just because we saw them already. That sucks. But yeah, Bergamo, we didn't see, like, we didn't see his full potential at all. Because he literally gets stronger from gaming attacks. He didn't do that at all in turn of power. Like his, his uh, getting stronger. He also had a good plot line. Like where he made Goku out to be. Him and Topo like were making Goku out to be like the bad guy. Like that would have been a. That was, that was like a really good plot line that they didn't like expand on. Like they could have turned like. Other fighters from the tournament of power against universe 7. They could have did that. But that's something they didn't do. They probably were like. They probably were thinking about doing that. And just decided. Ah oh, wait. Uh, let's let's just forget about that. Let's just make it a universe. Seven wipes out. 80% uh, of the tournament. Just do that instead. Like I really wish they expanded on like these characters. Like I want to see more of their universes. And all that. But, yeah. 
didn't get to see Bragama show. Remember that during the Zen exhibition match, this is Goku Super Saiyan Blue Kao Ken. I don't know if it's time. To, I don't remember. I didn't watch the full scene before I started the video. I don't know if it's time 20 though. I don't know if it, I don't remember if it's times 20, but yeah, this is Goku Blue Kaken. And this is him in Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken. Like obliterating Bergamo. Bergamo was able to like walk a f like move a few seconds after too. He was able to move. Then he then he passed out. Then he got back up like like probably like a minute later. He was like mad at Goku still for like putting all the universes at risk. Yeah, something we didn't we didn't get to see from like we didn't get to see Bragamo. Like he probably had more to offer, he probably had more to do. He, he, like we didn't get to see him because you know just wanted him gone, just to erase him in like the first two episodes or whatever. Like nice wasn't necessary. Uh, Lavender, also, his uh, poison attacks would have been useful. Like, he literally blinded Gohan. Like, imagine if he, like, blinded, like, a fighter. There's nothing they can do. No sensu beams, no healing. They can't heal or anything. Uh, yeah, there's nothing they could do. Just uh, I I actually like Bragamo, like his character, like what he said, like he like him his he said that his universe was kind of cruel, so like him Bagam I'm um, him Bagamo, uh Lavender and Dispo they had to like stick together and be strong, cause his universe was, like harsh conditions they probably had stronger fighters in their universes as well they probably didn't get recruited, like every universe which is basically the point of this video, like. Not the strongest fighters in the universes competed. It's the point of the video. That's probably going to be the title. Uh, yeah, Bergamo could have did more. Like, like, like right here, he got taken out by Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken. Pretty sure Goku could have taken him out with just Super Saiyan Blue, but... He just didn't hold back. He just didn't want to hold back. He said, I didn't hold back. Like, he could have taken him out with Kalkin. Like, just, just Super Saiyan Blue. Maybe not. He could have probably beaten him. He, like, he definitely could have beaten him. But he probably couldn't have, uh, like, just taken him out. Because Bergamo, like, did, like, was still, like, conscious a few seconds after this key blast right here. He got knocked out like a few seconds after. And he like just came back to it. And uh, as for uh, Dispo. Dispo. Dispo like he relied on like this fruit thing. It, it, it looked like the tree of the fruit of might or whatever. He relied on that to get stronger against uh, Boo. He couldn't, you can't use that in the turn of power. Because it's like against the rules. So Dispo wasn't much for him. I mean, guess he could have trained for that power, whatever. Could have trained for it. If it's possible, that is. But Lavender could have did more. Bergamo could have did more. The only problem with Bergamo, like getting stronger thing, is like... He gets bigger. He's in open. He's an easy target, which is how Goku kicked him out during the exhibition match, because he was an easy target. How Goku was like beating him around and all of that, and he couldn't hit him because he was too big. Like maybe he could have. You know how like how uh during uh Dragon Ball Z, when Vegeta went the Great Ape. Like even though Vegeta was big, like he was still fast. I don't know, maybe Bergamo could have trained in his big form. Probably, they just didn't want to animate that, so they just threw him out the ring. They didn't want to animate it. Yeah, Bergamo. 
then get to see him at his full strength still. Even though Goku asked for it during the Zen exhibition match. Goku said he wanted to see Bergamo's actual power and the tournament power. Didn't get to see it at all. Just get just get beaten out basically first episode or two episodes. Uh didn't get to see this guy, his full strength. He gets stronger. He's like one of those characters that just gets stronger and stronger. Or she managed to get him out the ring. We probably didn't get to see the yard judge full power. He probably he was just being a one trick pony. I mean he, he could have teleported as well. This guy actually had some really cool technique when he was fighting Gohan. Like he was like doing, I think he was doing something with his energy, like dispersing around so go so since so Gohan couldn't sense him. Then Gohan went into ultimate form, then beat him up. That was a, that was a really good fight. I actually like that about that. I actually liked him because of it. They could have also explained it, expanded on the family thing more. Like when he got knocked out, his keychain dropped. It showed that he had a family. They could expand it on that. Like with other fighters more. That was also probably a plot point they wanted to explore, but they were just like, nah, let's just rush the tournament power instead. This guy looks like a Gandhi type character. Could have been cool. The Megans. They're they were actually really strong. Weren't strong enough for the ultimate Gohan though. They're stronger than Piccolo at least. Gotta give them props for that. Uh, they should have just, this team should have just worked together, together more. Kao, Khalifa, they were, they are working together well. Uh, Bergamo, Dispo, and Lavender were actually working together. But they got knocked out by Goku and Vegeta. It took Goku and Vegeta to knock them out. They both went 2% blue to knock them out. I guess you can give them prop for that. Like, Goku and Vegeta went 2% three. I mean, two percent uh, blue to knock them out. Give them some prop for that. But I want to see more of them. Uh. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, we did see some of him. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Remember, he was one of the ones that cross-dressed into Ribrian in them. Pretty sure it was, uh, it was him, the blue guy up there. And then there was these two. I'm pretty sure, I think. I think it was these two. And then, yeah, they did well. Who did they fight? I'm pretty sure they fought Goku. Because Ribrian was taken out by uh, Android 18. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they fought Goku. And they did the little thing. The, they did the little Ribrian transformation thing. They they somehow got Ribrian's clothes on, Ribrian Kakutska and Rosie's clothes on. So yeah, they actually did something. I need to rewatch that part. I need I should have rewatched it before the video. But yeah, they actually did something. I'm sorry, I'm sorry guys. Some of these guys didn't do anything. This is another fighter that we can't see. Invisible fighter. Don't remember if he did anything. Small guy. Would have seen. I would have liked to see more of these guys. I know this guy. Like he used whips. I don't remember what she did. Him. He used like a key blades. Like like some masu. He was like one of those. Uh, I don't remember what these two do. Pretty sure this guy right here on the right that you can barely see. You can barely see his face. He got knocked out by Cal. Uh, Topo, we already know Topo. I'm sure one of these guys, like, they spin. Did some spinning fast. Another one used their legs. He's, like, the base look for, like, Aniraza. He, like, closely resembles Aniraza out of all of them. 
this eye thing probably looks like Aniraza's like weak spot, I think. Or maybe it was on one of the other fighters. Majikayo was his name. Just remember it. Like, what if Aniraza was like even stronger than what he was? But like, since all of their fighters were, weren't in, like remember some of the fighters got knocked out from this universe? He couldn't like go to his actual complete form. But yeah, I, I, I like Aniraza because he was just like, it's like, okay, he wasn't like one of the three three main universes. Like clearly the three main universes were Universe 6, Universe 7, and Universe 11. Like Aniraza, he was just like like a surprise that you thought you wouldn't have gotten. It was a, a surprise that should have happened because like supposed to be some of the strongest fighters in the universes. But yeah, anyway, that's the video. Uh, sum it up. I think that there are more fighters, like strong fighters, that didn't compete in the tournament of power. That should have been in tournament power because it's supposed to have the strongest fighter of the universe. But I'm happy he actually didn't because, like, it's it's like one of those like things like that you'd want to see for like the end of the series, you know? Like, especially since we didn't explore any of the universes yet. Like, it's just one of those things like you want to save for like. The last arc. You know. So I'm hoping we get to see these universes again. Like the fighters as well. I want more story to them. It would be cool. Yeah. Hope you all enjoy the video. Uh, forgot. What was my next video going to be? At? Oh my next video is going to be about TN. TN. The one and only TN. The one who gets treated wrongly. Gonna be about him and his third eye. But yeah, thank you all for watching. And uh if you guys can share the video. Hopefully these videos do well. I wanna do like more of them. So yeah, peace.